You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, praised the gains that resulted from the march between from the match rather between Cordoba Sports Club and the Al Khaldia Sports Club from Bahrain within the framework of the training camp being held by the Spanish club in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa said that Cordoba and Khaldia have benefited greatly in all aspects from this friendly match, as the two sides exchanged experiences between them, which will increase the two teams' gains in many aspects, including technical and administrative. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished the Cordoba team success in its camp and achieving full benefit in the coming period. Cordoba team defeated Al Khaldia 3 to 1 in the match held at the Bahrain National Stadium and will play its second match with Rafa Club next Monday on the same stadium. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa held talks yesterday with Omani Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports, His Royal Highness Diazin bin Haytham Al Said at Al Bustan Palace in Masqat. During the meeting, the two sides discussed enhancing bilateral cooperation in the sports field. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad expressed his pride in the solid historic relations linking the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Oman, in addition to keenness on widening means of cooperation in all fields, mainly in sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the importance of working on bolstering partnerships that contribute in developing sports in the two countries and encourage its affiliates to achieve further successes to positively reflect on the development of the sports movement in the GCC countries. On the sidelines of the meeting, the General Sports Authority in the Kingdom of Bahrain signed the Sports Executive Program Agreement with the Omani Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports to activate the cooperation agreement between the two countries in the field of sports. The agreement was signed by His Highness Sheikh Khalid as representing Bahrain and His Royal Highness the Ezen bin Haytham from the Omani part. Earlier, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad has arrived at the Omani capital, Masqat, on an official visit to the Sultanate. Upon arrival to Masqat International Airport, His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by Oman's Undersecretary of the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, Ahmed bin Amr al-Rawas, and Bahrain's Ambassador to Oman, Ambassador Dr. Jum'a bin Ahmed al-Kabi. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Club's High Committee, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the club today held the 15th race meeting of the season at its race course in Rafah Sakhir. Their Highnesses, Sheikhs, representatives of Elba, the sponsor of the race, and equestrian sport fans also attended the seven round race, which was held for the Cups of Bahrain Jewelry Center, Porsche Cars, and Ftase Al Hajri. Trophies are, were later presented to the winners.
The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Aslam bin Abdullah Khalaf, paid an inspection tour to development and service projects in the capital governorate. During his tour, Engineer Khalaf asserted that the ministry pays great attention and exerts relentless efforts to secure access to all development and sustainable services in the various areas of the kingdom. He also stressed the government's keenness to maintain communication between officials and citizens in their areas through field visits to listen to their observations and provide them with their needs according to the available capabilities and resources. He also noted that the work is underway within the ministry's strategy to implement a number of development projects in the capital governorate which contribute to achieving the aspirations of citizens. The minister affirmed that Umm al-Hassan walkway project is about to be completed by the first quarter of the current year, where maximum levels of safety were taken into account according to the requirements of practicing sports activities. The project also provides solar-powered lighting that would save energy and reduce the cost of maintenance and operation. The Bahraini security forces have arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to participate in the joint mobilization drill Arab Gulf Security 3 of the security services of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The drill hosted by Saudi Arabia in the exercise operations area in the eastern province comes to continue cooperation, coordination and planning between the GCC security services. In this regard, Bahrain security forces have highest level of readiness and willingness to exchange expertise and work with the other participating forces. The joint GCC security action and the unification of concepts to confront all kinds of threats and risks are the main pillars of the Arab Gulf Security 3 to develop security work and capabilities in dealing with emergencies and different crises. The Kingdom of Bahrain today joins the Gulf Cooperation Council states in celebrating the Gulf Child Day, observed every January the 15th. This celebration confirms Bahrain's belief in the importance of providing all necessary health and preventative services that suit the different needs of this age group regarding the completion of the required vaccinations and immunizations to ensure their protection from the risks of disease, making sure they eat healthy food, encouraging physical activity, and adopting healthy lifestyles that contribute to providing them with their integrated health needs and rights, be it physical or psychological, to grow in a healthy, and sound manner. The Gulf Child Day is an opportunity to shed light on Bahrain's innumerable achievements, goals and projects aimed at protecting children and ensuring their integrity of their physical activity and mental development, as well as ensuring that they enjoy their full rights in accordance with all international laws and agreements. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,209,456 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,186,954 had taken the second, and 903,312 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 17,415 with 1,182 recoveries, 2,241 registered new cases and no deaths. There are 29 active cases receiving treatment and four patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,397 total deaths, while 284,060 have recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.